223 Broadway scope of work video. Let's do it. Move the pallet out to the street. Take your recycle can. Use that as your job site trash can. Turn the water on, which is right there. Turn the water on. Um, get your pressure washer and bleach if you need or soap or scrub brush or power washer. Just don't destroy anything if you use a power washer. Clean the drip edge. Rebuild the deck. Remember the boards are exactly in order. Flip them over, paint them, change that two by six. Do whatever you got to do. Uh, if this needs to be changed, change that. Actually, you're going to need to change definitely that one and that one. The middle looks okay to me. Uh, like you said, hit that into the wall. Screw that into the wall. Looks like you already got your tap hounds ready. Moving around to the right. Uh, take this debris and move it. I don't think a lot of people are going to go back here, but I want the sidewalk cleared off. So get that off. I don't like plants touching houses. It's bad for moisture and insects and everything. So cut all that. Get this crap out of here. A light cleanup. Get yourself a 16-pack of bulbs. Or I'll get them. We'll figure that out. Put that in there. Light bulbs in there. Uh, pull these window screens out. The windows are filthy. Some of them are painted shut. You're going to need your oscillator. And just power wash these windows. And like I said, don't spend hours out here with the power washer. It's really just the windows. I want it to look halfway decent from the inside. No one's going to come back here. Uh, wash those windows. Uh, give that a light spray. Put a bulb in there. Uh, throw that to the curb. Move that out of the way and that outlet test it i don't know where that goes i think that oh that hangs down in so we're going to hardwire that and uh more to come on that but anyway you'll need plenty of bulbs at least uh just get a whole 16 pack that's the cheapest way at lowe's these days they used to have 24 packs but they don't sell them anymore all right new gfi here this is the lift station put a gfi there it hasn't worked in a long time hit it to test Put it on test, see what happens. Let me know if this starts bubbling up. There's all kinds of shit. This might need a pump out. Keep an eye on that, let me know about that. Here's another window to power wash. Uh, this room is gonna need painting. She put like tape, little medical tape over the walls. So this room's gonna need a full regular white out paint job. Just keep the ceiling the way it is. I would like that motion light to be hardwired. So pull that box out, cut a hole there, uh, run a snake up to the hole, cut a six by six hole there, run a snake up to the hole, and then pull that wire through and, and hardwire it. And obviously fix the drywall when you're done, save the square. Even if you do like a 12 by 12 square, it doesn't matter. And then that way you can run your snake through that box or pull the box out. And then uh, you can just drop the wire in if you pull the box out without a snake, if you don't have a snake. Snakes are cheap, easy. Uh, as far as the lighting, this doesn't have a ceiling light. What I'm going to do, because I'm trying to save time, is uh, I'm going to um, buy a, a floor lamp from Amazon. And we're going to plug it in that way when people come in, they, they see a light turn on and they feel good that it, it works. So we're just going to buy a ceiling light on Amazon. Please, God, do not rush. Walk carefully in here. Just let it settle. Do not stomp. That impact versus walking gently is a big difference. So just when you're in here, I know it's hard. I know it's when you're rushing and moving, but just walk gently. I could feel it yesterday when I was under there. No stomping in this room. Thank you. Put the dishwasher back. As I told you in the text, there's little half inch cutoff screws. You can't see anything, but they're, they're in front of your tool kit here. And those, those are go under, those go underneath the dishwasher to screw it back in. There's a one eighth inch board there. Put that back. You need to put a two by four block to mount it to top and bottom. 
Uh, just wipe everything down. The cabinet's got like grease on them. Give it a good once over wipe down. I know you're not a cleaning lady. Fix handles, check drawers. Uh, you know what to do. Wipe the fridge out as best you can. Uh, these lights are fluorescent and I can't see them right now. You'll have to get back to me about the bulbs. This is the motion light, same thing. Cut like a 12 by 12 hole, pull that box out, feed that wire down in and hardwire it into the, so it's, it's always on. And it should probably, uh, it should be a motion light. Check the bulb in there, clean the fan, make sure it works, make sure it doesn't wobble. You see these windows are filthy. The blinds all look good, although they're dirty. I don't know if you have compressed air. Just, just I don't know how you clean blinds quickly. This room needs a paint, so you can pull all the switch plates and outlet plates, save the brand new ones, prep for paint, mud that, put a little tape on that. Uh, the closets look fine. Sorry it's so dark. Okay, that helps. The closets look fine. Sorry it's so dark. Uh, this flooring will have to stay. Dust off the water heater. Here is a, looks like a paint match for the bathroom probably. I found it in the water heater cabinet. It's a full gallon. And the vanity I'm gonna switch. And it's too narrow to the toilet to me. So I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna have you demo this whole thing. The faucet's trash, save the P-traps and the hoses. There is a, a, a GFI in here. I'm gonna do a, I wish I had tape, I don't have a tape. Yeah, this has gotta be like 42 or something. It's too big. Uh, we'll go down to a 36. So this this is the, is the demo, demo that. Uh, dust this, with some kind of a brush, it's really nasty. Just dust, loose dust though. And then as long as we're in here with the vanity, let's go ahead and do a little upgrade. 36 inch vanity and demo this and we'll do a three door wood medicine cabinet. It'll appeal to the, the feminine clients here and we'll do a three bulb uh, vanity light. So three bulb vanity, demo that, new medicine cabinet, 24 by 24, 36 inch vanity, save the P-traps and the hoses. This is probably the main area of work. Uh, the closet doors, uh, that one's splintered, just remove it. I don't, there doesn't need to be two doors here. It's these doors, I fucking hate them. Just remove the front one. And then uh, re rehang these things. That way you don't have to like repair that. It's just gonna drag on the ground anyway. And then these leave alone. So this, this will have three doors total. Just make sure they all slide and function. All right, we'll need a two gang switch plate. One must be for the, oh shit. I think one is for the porch light right there. And one might be for that light. Let me know what's going on with these switches, but it might be kind of neat if you had a porch light there and then you could light up the back like that with that light. So that, that would be kind of neat. If, if that controls that, then you'd be able to turn on a light here to your backyard, which would actually be kind of cool. Then we don't have to buy a new light switch or a, a new uh, motion light. So yeah. Put that in the wall, test it, put that in the wall, and I want, I want to be able to flip that switch and light the backyard up, or flip that switch and light the side yard up. And then the, the other side doesn't have a switch, I don't think, but check if it's, if it's hardwired, but that, I actually do want a motion light on there, which there already is a motion light, that's partly why I'm doing it. Hopefully that gets you started, um, we'll need a five gallon uh, delete any phone jacks, test the central air, test the outlets. Hopefully that is enough information. You can fill in the blanks yourself.